is very simple. That's it. You can't give me what I want. I was not in a ship, but they were trying to put me in a ship. Who? Yeah, the last season. My own season? Who was that? You see. Who was that? My season now, Nina. That she mm. with her mm. house. This queen tells her a love story. What queen has been through in life? Spiritual. What man has done to her? No cap. Nobody has life? been through what I went through. Darkness, so I would just they sing one Christian song. Why don't call outside? If anybody may want to call it, come dear, come and mm -hmm. egg. Hey, you know? Star's good job. It, it has always been like that. Because yeah. they do not share. Don't forget us as a... Do not share. Only two evictions shocked me. Two. White man. Which one? White man. Kid. White man. Yes. Kid the kid. Even when Alex was coming, she was sent to the group. Uh -huh. See you okay. later. Okay. I'm coming to support you. Uh -huh. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Funny Pop with Lillian. So Mercy just proposed the idea of all stars having a WhatsApp group. And she said, who will even open this WhatsApp group for us? Who will be that person that is in good time with almost everybody that can create a WhatsApp group and people will come in? And she now said, okay, cross. You know, someone said, I think Sissy said cross, of course. And Mercy now said, oh, cross. So she prefers you'll be the one to open a WhatsApp group for us. And she said that their season, they have a WhatsApp group. And um, Sissy said, even theirs, they have a WhatsApp group, but they later shut it down. But when Rico now died, they reopened it again. But even when they were preparing to come here, that's Alex went to their WhatsApp group to tell them, oh, I'll be coming on the All-Star season. Please support me and all that. That she, she didn't even say anything there. She don't usually chat there so messi said now for this their whatsapp group for this all-star season that once you leave that group you won't return again <laughs> that there will be rules so that before anybody will exit that group you will have a second thought and know that once you're out you're out and then she started you know bringing the idea of them running a business together supporting each other she now told him can you imagine what it would be six or fours promote any business any of us is doing and that it will be crazy you that it will be mad and sissy now said you know what let's even start from um shows this wedding let's the first step start from there and let's see how we will support each other that anybody that say oh i don't want to support anybody i don't want to do this that it will even be your loss being that the great influence they possess you know you won't get to have a share of that so i guess they will be doing a kind of oh if you don't want us to support you we will not support you as well messi also said that that whatsapp group will serve as first point of conflict resolution that if any of the housemates annoys you instead of taking it straight out you need to come to that whatsapp group and iron it out before going to tweets and before you know it's already in the blocks that you know how those blogs like um, Big Brother, Housemates, they like the traffic they draw to their page and all that. So if anybody know you, that same WhatsApp group. And she even said that even in her season, that she has a separate WhatsApp group with Venita, Kim Opera and Diane. That they created it for the purpose of um, girls trip and all that, although it didn't work out. But there is another one Alex once created for them to hop on on a challenge that was trending then but it didn't work out being that some years you know i won't be available at this particular time i won't do that i'm not available i'm busy and sissy said yes that she can remember that alex added her to a whatsapp group for a challenge but then she wasn't less engaged from there the conversation shifted to how difficult this season was at the initial stage and cross then said that he fought a lot of battle in this house that there were times he was contemplating whether to just take a voluntary exit and leave that he was feeling um he was seeing and feeling like a kind of darkness all over him he was struggling to he was fighting and struggling within himself in order to remain on this show that several times he would just say ah should he just go and meet people and say please i want to leave this show and then I think Colin and told him that it's not only you, that even she said he was having that feeling he was, you know, fighting with him himself to stay on the show, that she was contemplated leaving, taking a voluntary exit. Sissy now added that she had such an experience that everywhere was just filled with darkness. She was having weird dreams that the only way was just her singing Christian music. The last day they sing one Christian song after... I'm fine again, but that first week was horrible. Energy to that. Now, Lucy wanted to leave for hours after. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Something, there was some. Sissy then said, well, that the only time the house became lighter, that she 
thinks or she feels that Prince or Marshala, um, Kim and Lucy entered with some sort of light energy and brighter mood that the house became better when they entered. And Cross as well affirmed to that, saying, Yes, yes, that, that was when he started feeling light in this house. And she said, Well, she guessed why it happened is that the first time they were here, they were hungry for fame, being that everybody just wanted what would come out from this show. That her first season was even more terrible than this particular season. But then she guessed because everybody's made now, nobody wants to take whatever will come out from this or tolerate any nonsense from anybody. But then Cross said no, that this season was very terrible. That the first season, you know, he was just getting to know everybody, every housemate. That for every day he spends with a particular housemate. That if you ask him now about um things, information about his uh shine your eye housemates, that he knows information about them back to home. Being that he spends his time with them one after the other, getting to know everybody. But this is it. He said, this is it. Even the people that you know before coming on the show turned out to be something else. That you just look and you see somebody that is your friend, someone you've dined with, even traveled with, acting strangely, or even walking against you. And you'll be wondering, ah, what's happening? What's going on? And that you will not even know the right way to approach this person and say, like, why are you acting this way? And at that, it made him boil within him. He said, unlike in his season, that it was just two people that he came in as cross and cross the bus. That most of the times, like Thursday and Saturday night, that it's cross the bus that is manifesting, you know, cruising, enjoying, drinking, and all that. But then this season, he has a lot of experience. But they could say, no, that he doesn't even know what makes this season tough. That most of the times, he does not even know what's happening. That when people are fighting or beefing, he does not even know. He'll be asking you, say, like, when did this one happen? What led to this one? What was going on? She then said that she, she experienced that, for example, Perry. That even the things she knew before about Perry has all vanished from her brain. That it's just as if she's getting to know Perry again. And she said, Mail, well, maybe when they're out of here, she will have to, you know, do this thing she wanted to do before whereby ex housemates will come on her platform and talk about their experience and everything that she wanted to do it before but the few people she reached out to none of them answered that even one she reached out to said ah she will never be on any platform that she sissy wants to speak on and she said that even the person came to this their all-star season sissy said she always wish people can act as human first before showing you an influencer on or any other thing first be human Anyways, from there, they started talking about eviction that shocked them. And why Perry said that of White Money and Kid Wire really shocked him. <laughs> and Sissy said the one that shocked her most was Kid Wire, E.K., and then White Money. And they said maybe she has really helped this season, being that um, the two people in a ship that happens to live once, you know, like today's eviction that we just witnessed, um, Soma Angel... Venita Adekuli. And uh, she has really, you know, when both um, housemates, both, when both people in a ship are up, that they will have to divide votes and all that. But Adekuli is saying no. That him, he feels she has a different fans are different. And that telling him that she has are still fans now. It's just that maybe when both couple are up, they will now decide who to vote for more. Okay, now, she pass will not come in the video and say, okay, we want this to keep going forward. No, 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 I think Chloe still maintain his stand though. That fans are different, shippers are different. That in the last season, people really wanted him to be in a ship with beauty. <laughs> Although he never met beauty, he met beauty like once during the arena game. But when he came out, he now discovered that there is a, ship, a group of people trying to ship him with beauty. That even Le Corose told him that, ah, he really wished um you and beauty we are in a ship. That shippers are different too, fans are different too. But then Cross started telling him that eh, had it been that ship happened now, that same fans we now say okay, they love the both of you or not. That same shippers will now become fans. That is just um an interwoven of boats. Up next, they started discussing the prize money to be won. And Sissy said, Can you imagine that in one week time somebody will go in home with 120 million cash? 
that this person has already been distant from the one who is just that people will catch up with time. And the Nicholas said no, that Ibuka said, you know, Nigerians haven't determined their winner. And Sissy said no, that what she's saying is that God already had distant someone that would take this money. It's just that it's with time the other people will catch up. Well, Perez said that's huge, but whoever that wins should not forget them. Cross says if eventually it turns out to be him, he will first of all pay his tithes. But Sissy said no, he she she does not pay tithes, that she does not understand the philosophy behind it. When they now started talking about the fights between Alex and Perry, Cross now told Perry that you know you have to thank Big Brother for saving you that day. That had it been Big Brother did not call your name to come to the diary room, that trust him, that would have escalated and you'll definitely get another strike or it might not even end up well. And Perry said no, he couldn't have escalated, escalated anything. That he wasn't ready to do anything silly. And Messi said that the sum is that the both of them does not have liver <laughs> to even do anything beyond that that can't you see um alex was just busy saying oh perry perry <laughs> and perry was telling alex oh yeah punch me do this do that messi demands a better gift for perry being that on friday is her birthday and when perry was asking what can i even give you as a gift in this house you know because messi was saying ah that she, she's expensive and Perry said, oh, I'm asking of what can I give you in this house, you know, as a birthday gift. And Messi said, if you want to give me anything, I want to win the show. Can you give me that? <laughs> Can't you see you cannot give me that? And Perry still contemplating. Messi said, what can you even give? Tashi, she's expensive. Or maybe you'll give your tits. I will bring out one of your tits. <laughs> this too, Sha. Messi returned, asked Perry what gifts he could have loved her to give him. And Messi said, mm, maybe a kiss. And Messi now remembered, oh, I've given you a kiss already. <laughs> it's a kiss at all season. Anyways, after that, they all went to um, Adekule Unpacked and the rest of the housemates all went to bed. Cross even did some facials while saying who could have thought that one day he would just sit down and be taking care of his skin. <laughs> anyways thank you for watching and i hope i've kept you or i've keep you or i've updated you on all that happened tonight do have a lovely evening and please i'm begging you don't forget to give this video a like for me i'll be expecting your comments as well and if you haven't subscribed please support me by subscribing to my channel thank you and god bless bye i want to win the show you can't give me what I want. I know. This week is Pampa Cross. Pampa Cross.